What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now we're sitting at 10,383. We're up 1.43%. And what I had today for you was about six things that I wanted to go over and talk about. And some of those include the potential golden cross that we could be looking at here and also some fib levels that we really need to pay attention to. So I'm going to dig into all this guys. If you get some from this channel, you get some from this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into this. First of all, the number one point I wanted to make was the power of chart patterns. A lot of people say you can't chart or you can't use technical analysis for cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, and I disagree 100%. And just to give you an example here, as we are looking at Bitcoin and we are coming out of this six month downtrend, you see the inverted head and shoulders pattern. As soon as we broke the neckline here, you can see the move that has taken place. And what happens is, guys, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because traders, just like why a lot of times you'll get a bounce off the 50 moving average because everyone's watching that. The traders are watching that area. And that's where technical analysis can help you. These chart patterns, reading the candles, you know, looking at moving averages and what we're doing with them. Are we getting support off them? Are we finding resistance off them? What's taking place? Is the trend up or down? These are the type of things that can help you so much as opposed to just going off fundamental news. If you're a fundamental investor, guys, go for it. But as as I've continued to read and study this stuff, trading in this cryptocurrency space is the way to go because the moves are so extreme. It's a trader's paradise because you want volatility as a trader and that's what cryptocurrency provides. Now it's tough to hodl in the cryptocurrency space if you're not aligned with the trend and you're in a downtrend and you're trying to buy those dips that's not what you want to be doing unless you're selling the reactions but that guys is for more experienced traders not someone who you know is just potentially getting into hodl or dollar cost average you have to be very careful if you're playing the reaction but it's so important to align yourself with the trend and studying this stuff can help you in those areas and that's why i try to teach this the best that i can as we're going through the price action and whatever for bitcoin because i want you all to learn this stuff as well for yourself when i got into this i listened to the wrong people before and you know it was my own fault but I learned from that and I said never again and now that we're starting this new uptrend and we're trying to turn this into an intermediate term downtrend it's so important to study this stuff and understand and and, and know the way that a market works and, and the pay attention all the way from you know guys the 15 minute time frame out to the one week just really look at the difference of how the market moves back and forth and how it, each time it pumps it has to breathe there's just so many different things that you can you know put in your back pocket and use them to benefit yourself so you know guys I wanted to put that out there just to start this video I don't want to ramble or rant too long but you know really study this stuff because it can help you all right so we're aligned with the trend now Guys, everything's looking good so far. In purple, we have our 200 moving average. In yellow, right here, or orange, we have our 400. And then this is our golden cross. The potential that we could have here is our 50 crossing over this 200 here. And just to give you an example, as we go back through, when we have these large moves, you can see it happens when golden crosses take place. Back in here, it, the golden cross took place at 4,500, we'll call it. And if you would have just held until we had a death cross, you're looking up around $9,000. You're basically doubling your money. That's a heck of a trade, guys, in less than a year. And that's just going off a golden cross and then selling out at a death cross. So that's another example of technical analysis that you can use. And you can do it on shorter time frames, a five moving average with a 10. That type of stuff can really help you. But what I like to see for Bitcoin is that we hit this inverted head and shoulders. We're up above all our moving averages, as you can see here, which is a beautiful thing. What I'm looking at now is the next resistance area. The next resistance area for us is going to be at 10,899. And that's going to be this big chunk in this fight over here where we hit it over here. We've hit it here before. We've hit it back in here. And then we just dump down hard. So this should be a significant area of resistance, and I want to see what we do with it. Another thing I'm looking at in terms of the Fibonacci. So we'll take our Fibonacci here from the high to the low because what we're looking at now is this bounce, as you can see here. So we got up through the 0 0.236, the 0 0.382, and now we're sitting on top of the 0 0.5, and we want to find support off this. So that next we can go up and challenge that 0 0.618. And that's going to be a tough area. We have all this resistance here. And a lot of times you'll see profit being taken around that 0 0.618. If you go back through, that's a hot spot. People will buy dips off it when you're looking at that uptrend. And 
guys, what you'll notice here is as well, once we've had this retracement, a lot of times we'll bounce up to the 0 0.618 before we start having a little bit of a retracement or sell off. A lot of times you'll go back to the 0 0.382, set a higher low and then make your next move. So that's just an area that I want you to watch out for that 11,000 54. That's going to be an area of resistance for us, but that could still give us some room to run here before we potentially cool down a little bit, let the market breathe, set a higher low, and then continue on in this move is what I believe is going to happen for Bitcoin here. And on the one day chart, what I would like to see as support for us as we chug up here would be this 20 EMA. As you can see back here for our higher low, we got a bullish engulfing candle off it. And then we just kept moving and you're setting those higher lows, another pump, higher low, and then the next pump. So I'm excited, guys, that Bitcoin is up above all these moving averages. I think that's something extremely powerful for us. We're aligned with the trend. The moving averages are up and now we're just trying to break through resistances and then turn them into support. So what we want to point out next is looking at candles. Okay, so as we've been cruising up here, guys, and having our higher highs and higher lows, a lot of the times for these higher lows, something I want you to pay attention to, we've been having bullish engulfing candles right here, bullish engulfing candle, bullish engulfing candle, higher low, bullish engulfing candle, bullish engulfing candle, bullish engulfing candle. So that's something now that I'm really paying attention to and watching those candle formations as we see if this is the next leg up here or if we're going to have a little bit of a cool down and maybe come back to around that $10,000, find support off it again, and then make the next move to the upside. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. Consolidation, next little pump here, or support right around we'll call it $10,000. So we're in this tight little window right now. Next, what I wanted to point out was the relative strength index to you and something I'm looking at for the relative strength index. And guys, if you get some from this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Try to do the best that I can. Like I said, I've been studying this stuff for about two years now, trying to do the best that I can. Still a beginner in all this. From all the books that I read, you can you know, really study hard or whatnot for about five years before you get out of the beginner stage. That's how long it can take. I mean, really, guys, you could study the RSI alone for several months, all about it and different techniques on support and resistance, trend line breaks, so many different things. But what I'm looking at here for Bitcoin is this trend line and these higher lows coming in. I want to see when we start breaking to the downside and what we do with this trend line or if we're going to find support off it and keep making these higher lows and keep moving to the upside. We are at 69 on the RSI, 69.93, so we'll call it 70. We're at that overbought territory, but like I've talked to you about before, Bitcoin can run up into the 90s. And a lot of times it can run up into the high 80s, 90s, then it'll retrace and breathe back into the 70s and then pump again and it'll stay overbought the entire time. So what I like to do more so with the RSI is look at that divergence and also draw these trend lines on them and see when we get trend line breaks. I think that's something that's extremely important for us to pay a lot of attention to. So we're gonna pull that off and then I wanted to dig into the four hour time frame with you guys while I have a little bit of time here. So this is a good example of buyers stepping in right around this 50 moving average on the four hour and also setting these higher lows right here. You can see these higher lows that just keep coming in. That's people buying the dip. And that's a good thing. When you're in an uptrend, you want to buy that dip. You want to buy that retracement. Remember, you don't want to do that when you're in a downtrend. So right now, the trend is still up higher highs and higher lows. And that's what we were looking at here. We ended up getting on the four hour time frame a bullish engulfing candle came off this 40 moving average on the four hour time frame and now we're going to see if we can get up over top in the short term around 10,426 so this previous high here then we would want to turn that into support and go up and challenge that next spot at 10,899 but you know going back to the chart patterns if you can identify these things this even right here was an inverted head and shoulders on the four hour time frame right here. So here's our left shoulder, here's our head, here's our right shoulder, and that actually even took place inside of a larger inverted head and shoulders. So that's the type of stuff I like to try to pick out and look for things that are repeating themselves just like on the one day chart there, those bullish engulfing candles con continuously coming in setting those higher lows. So that's something I'm going to look for now. And I'm just going to watch and wait, you know, and you could even draw just a rough trend line here, just kind of spotted this guys right up into here. And what we're going to try to do is get the most touches possible. So I just want to see here. I'm just drawing this with you just to see. So that would not be valid there. 
So we probably take it right around this area. Could bring this down a little bit more. So on the four hour time frame, this is what I would be looking for in this area right here, these higher lows. It's a little bit rough here, guys, but these higher lows to continue and not to have a trend line break out of here. Then I'd start looking at that $10,000 area because we need to stay up above $10,000. We broke up above it. The bulls pushed us up above it and they need to defend that. It needs to be respected or the bears are going to jump all over and drive us to the downside. So that's what I want to bring to you all today. Just be careful in this area. Like I said, getting a little overextended, but these higher lows are coming in and we really have a shot at testing around that $10,900 next. That would be the area that I'd pay a lot of attention to. So if you get some from this guy's like, subscribe, share with your friends. Appreciate you all being here with me today. If you're going out on a Friday night, be safe. God bless you all. Take care.